stay for only a short time and then move on to other facilities as such as an intermediate bed based facility and I think the team works effectively together both from doctors, nurses and therapists point of view uh, and as I say uh, we provide an effective uh, means of taking patients from the acute hospital uh, through a period of should they need it onto either their home or uh, an intermediate care facility. Hello Mr Bates, welcome to my STAR unit. My name's Vicky, I'm one of the sisters who's going to be looking after you. I'll just show you down to your room. So you're going to be staying in room number one for today. Settled. Ward itself is quite alright, it's nice. It's got everything, everything you need, and uh, the cupboard is it's fine. Just, uh, and the whole unit, oh, it, it's good, you know, and the people in it are good. Yeah, they're good, they do everything you ask for. If I press the button, wherever it, oh dear, it's trapped in there. If I ring that, somebody will come straight away. If I ring the top one, it'll come straight away. Well, I thought it was very new, which I think it is, isn't it? Um, it's good impression, yeah. Um, I'd been in a, another place for rehab, but I'd fallen in there, so I had to come here because they've got everything, to, you know, all the X-rays and everything, which they didn't have in the other in the rehab place. Yeah. Uh, just getting me ready to go back home. But then I've got to carry on with radiotherapy after. But um, I'm going home tomorrow. That's lovely. Take me for walks. Take me up and down the stairs because my bathroom is upstairs. Um, take me to make me own tea. Uh, everything really walks up and down the corridor. Because I'd done something to my leg when I fell, and it's still not right, but I'm back on my feet again. So you're a lot more, you're a lot better from, from having all this therapy? Yes, yeah. They're quite strict, <laughs> but uh, they are quite strict, but uh, it's for the best, isn't it, in the long run? Ah, yes. The chap who works here, one of the male nurses, he's very good, very thorough, yeah. It's, you know, it, it was the best move for me to come back, actually, yeah. Well, I, wouldn't, I couldn't have carried on in the rehab place, I was, because uh, I was in too much pain with my leg, and apparently I've not broken it, but I've done something to the muscles. 
No, not really. I, I just think they're very good here. This is, it's new, isn't it? It's quite new. So I think it's a great thing for anybody who, like myself, you know, wants to get back home, but really not in the, not on top of the health. So I've got to get back tomorrow and see how I go on there. Hello, my name is Dave. I'm one of the porters on Star Unit. I support the trust with patients taken from one ward area to another or down to the discharge lounge. I also support the patients in the discharge lounge offering tea, coffee and biscuits while I wait for their transport home and have chats with them about the good old days. There's new plans to support the bed manager and extend my role further. Hi, my name's Becca. I'm a nurse assistant on the STAR unit in Darsby Wing. I am a permanent member of staff in the Trust and initially I was brought down to help with the, getting the STAR unit together and getting everything prepared. And now I'm a permanent member on there and it's fantastic. I enjoy it. The manager that we've got, Helen Farley Daly, she's brilliant. She's been fantastic. She's shown true leadership. She's worked well with us all. She's developing the ward and its staff by providing us with plenty of training. Um, the current training that we've been on is Parkhouse Mattress Training and it's helped us understand with pressure, pressure sores um, and it's helped us understand like, the types of mattresses that we're using. Um, we've worked alongside the training team within the hospital as well. They've been helping us develop our skills um, so we all be able to work together. The training that was put in place by our ward manager Helen, it's truly developed the staff. Um, our skills are fantastic now. It's expanded our knowledge in all aspects of healthcare and everything's going great, which is good. Hello, my name is Vicky and I'm one of the sisters on the STAR unit. The STAR unit opened on the 6th of April and was originally set up as an intermediate care unit. Since then, we now accept people who are still awaiting the assessment and are awaiting discharge planning. The team is led by our ward manager, Helen Farrelly Daly, and supported by myself and Amanda Penker. We are extremely motivated and enthusiastic by the service we provide. We work alongside the physios, the OPs and social workers. Our consultant covering the unit is Dr Barton, and we also have an SHO that works every day. Dr Barton also covers Padgate House, who is also an intermediate care area, so he has a good input and oversight on what goes on in the unit. We have daily board meets and a weekly MDT, as well as fortnightly progress meetings with the commissioners. During our time being open, we have successfully discharged several patients home who originally came in needing an intermediate care bed. But when the time came for discharge, we sent them home with very little input. They may have just needed a package of care once a day. My name's Pam Ward. I'm an occupational therapist on Star Unit. And uh, my name is Yana Mikulova, I'm a physiotherapist working at Star Ward. Here in the Star Unit, the therapist OT and physio work with patients who are waiting for an intermediate care bed, intermediate care at home, reablement, or waiting for a package of care. Often we've seen patients who have managed to rehab on the ward, the therapist, and go home with reablement and rehab. Hi, my name's Steve Kenny and I've been a carer for my mum for 14 years. On this occasion of her being admitted to this unit, uh, it was deemed that mum needed uh, rehabilitation. And she received very, very good care off the unit here. Um, and I can only say thanks to the uh, Dr Barton and uh, the medical staff on this unit. Um, this is a very good unit, uh, everybody has their own room and ensuite facilities but there is one downside for the elderly that they're using it for and um, they can't afford to be isolated, i.e. my mother had suffered from panic attacks for a long time after a stroke and find it quite lonely but uh, on speaking to the staff while I've been on the ward with my mum they are looking at um, a, a unit or a room where they can go in through the deck. So if that is possible, that would be good from my point of view as a care. Hello, my name is Ashley Roger. I'm a social worker. I work on STAR unit. 
Uh, my role is to complete social work assessments and um, to plan discharge for people going home or on to 24-hour care. As part of my role, um, I will speak with the person and I'll speak with their family and anyone else who's important to them and then I'll discuss all plans with the MDT, the multidisciplinary team approach, that's what we use um, and it works well. So STAR unit opened in April this year and it should run till the end of September. Um, it, I've seen it's a fabulous unit, major benefits for the people who come onto the unit because it's quite a quick turnaround um, within two to three weeks um, the person is assessed and then making the way home or, or onward to 24 hour care or, or wherever. Um, and the, the staff are, are all dedicated and we all work well 